The director of Thames Water has apologised to its customers and admitted the company failed in its responsibility to the environment. It comes as the organisation was handed a record £20 million fine for polluting the River Thames. The company admitted water pollution and other offences at sewage treatment facilities between 2013 and 2014. The spills resulted in hundreds of dead fish, overflowing manholes and sewage spilling into nature reserves. The Environment Agency described the incident as some of the worst pollution it has ever witnessed. Jeremy Stern reports on how the incidents affected those living and working nearby. The River Tame near Aylesbury is getting back to its best, but in 2013, a local farmer was shocked to find sewage flowing downstream. The river was, was a black, uh, black grey colour. It was, it was very, very smelly. There was dead fish. More than a billion litres of untreated sewage were released into the River Thames and its tributaries between 2012 and 2014. In January, Thames Water admitted sewage spills from treatment works in Aylesbury, Didcot, Henley and Little Marlow, and a pumping station in Littlemore in Oxford. Last week, the company also admitted failing to control waste from a plant in Arborfield. After receiving a record fine at Aylesbury Crown Court, Thames Water said it's invested millions in new equipment since the offences. We have learnt our lesson. There have been sweeping, far-reaching changes across the wastewater business. That's included more people, more and better systems and more investment. And that is beginning to pay off. Our, improve, our performance has improved considerably. And we're also doing a lot of work, which we're proud of, in partnership with environmental groups across our area. The court case followed a three-year investigation by the Environment Agency. The scale is enormous and the pattern of offending is, was disturbing. It wasn't because there have been new conditions in permits by us. It was because basic, for, ba basic for, uh, equipment, screens and pumps were not maintained, repaired or replaced. Thames Waters paid for new fencing to keep Mr Woodford's cattle away from the water, but he can't understand why the pollution got out of control and for so long. It's yeah, highly irresponsible of a, such a large company with such massive profit margins to be uh, polluting our waterways. Uh, it's, it's, it shouldn't happen. Judge Francis Sheridan described Thames Water's failings as diabolical and disgraceful and entirely foreseeable. He said all of the problems were avoidable by any competent operator. And summing up the case before that record £20 million fine, he said, what a dreadful state of affairs. Local environmental groups welcome the fine, but as the countryside recovers, their message is that Thames Water simply didn't do its job and must change its ways for good. Jeremy Stern, BBC South Today.